and gentlemen. Oh, Welcome to Kill Talk Radio. Another source for sex and sexuality. Hosted by Livid the Dreamcatcher. Formerly known as Humphrey Bonehard and special guests. Live from a living area in small big town Connecticut. Don't just do it, kill it. Kill Talk Radio. Good day, people. Welcome back to another episode of Sex, Love, and Hip Hop, The Conversation. I am your boy, Livid the Dream Catcher, back with my normal cohorts, my right-hand man and my right-hand woman. Ladies first, Miss <laughs> Jamie Sage, since she was here on time. Oh, How you doing today, Miss Sage? Good, good. It's good to be here as usual. You're looking good. Thank you. And then to my left, my... uh. The guy that I love to hate the most, the Deuce, my big brother. What's up, man? How's your day going? Uh, day's going great. It's going great. I was out there playing with the kids while I'm a little dusty today, but I enjoy it. Love coaching Little League. I appreciate you allowing me to be a little late to coach the kids because the kids are our future. You see how you did yeah, that, right? Good. You know what I'm saying? He had, the, he had the Give light. He had the light. I, I, okay, all right. I ain't mad at you for that one. Well, we all love the kids. It's a beautiful day outside. I forgive you. So I won't, you know, I won't comment on the couple trick, the couple trickles of sweat coming down the side of your face. We just gonna zoom in on that just a little bit. But I like that hat, though. Thank you, man. I dropped you Good off on my job. way to the kids, so you can get that beautiful hat. Hey, the hat came from. I gotta thank. I'm, I'm gonna shout out my man Mike over there at uh, Salvin Shoes in uh, Hartford. You know what I'm saying for getting me right for the day. I like the hat myself. He, had, I don't. I like to. I like to represent the places that I'm at. Mm-hmm. You know, pose. You know, pose to just anything, but this one, kinda, it it jumped out at me. For one, the angel wing on the top of it, yes. because I'm an angel, and I'm surrounded by other angels. Okay. Y'all are angels too. Thank y'all for being. <laughs> thank y'all for being angels. I don't know about all that, but you know what I'm saying. But you know, it was. You know, it it, it really it matches my shoes. We're gonna get a full. <laughs> we we're gonna get a full body shot later. We're gonna have somebody you know take a picture of us just so we can show everybody just how fresh to death we are in the smug. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ready for today's conversation? It's gonna be a long one. It's, it's a. This is a more educational than anything. We're gonna try to entertain at the same time, but. It's more educational. The topic today is types of sexuality. No, nothing, huh? No, No, I'm ready, sir. I am ready, sir. I heard this was not the types of sex, but the actually (laughs) types of sexuality. Oh, yeah. So you were a little disappointed. (laughs) He's extremely disappointed. I thought we would. He he, was researching a whole different subject. He had a whole to do list. (laughs) Of things to talk about today. <laughs> would you like to? Would you like to? Would you like to give a brief no, description of that list? I was asked not to, so I will not. He had. <laughs> he was going in some ways. We were either we were if, if we if we would have stuck to what he had planned today, we were either it would have been it would have been all the way left, all the way right. We either would have lost all of our followers, <laughs> or we would have gained a whole lot of followers. Well, so I that's think a conversation it, for another day then. It would have been all about the delivery. I don't I don't know how we're gonna do that one. We gotta we're gonna figure that one out. It was cool though, but I think yeah. we're good on delivery. Yeah, it's types of sexuality. Yes, sir. Not types of sex. Alright. So we're not talking about weird stuff. Damn. We're not talking about cake inside your booty hole. <laughs> I didn't need, not, not think of that. <laughs> we're not talking that about is certainly an avenue. We're not talking about tongue kissing pets <laughs> and animals. Right? Bestiality is a type of sexuality. Oh, I don't think it's safe. But... This is, <laughs> wait a minute. She said that out loud. <laughs> she is not. What? You think I don't. So? I yeah. That's well, how you feel? I mean, it's defined. Is it not? Is it? It is. That's what What's we were talking about yesterday. It? Bestiality. Mm-hmm. What's the the attraction to animals? We wasn't talking about it. Hold up, I didn't somebody, sit on this you were part of the somebody, conversation. Somebody, somebody talked about it, and, and somebody I, else talked and, back and to it, and someone responded. Oh, so that's and a now conversation. We were talking about it. That's a conversation. That's that a definition of a conversation. No. Okay. All right. Cool. 
I wasn't talking about it. I, I responded it. to someone else bringing it up as a topic. I don't want to hear that shit. Miss Sage, please continue. What's the definition of it? It's a psychological attraction to animals, isn't it? So Psychological, not, it's sex, like, not uh, sexual. Well, I, they're sexually attracted because it's performing the sex acts on an animal, but I think it's a like psychological condition that you know people are, um, need I, to have addressed. So I don't think it's a type of sexuality. It sounds like it's more of a type of mental disorder. Yes. It's only a mental disorder if, if you're not into that. Because people <laughs> into that will tell you. <laughs> what if you're the sheep or cow? <laughs> Okay, let's move on, please. Please. So just, so just, please. So just, please. So just, <laughs> why did you let me continue down this road? So just because you're because into, I knew I'm blaming you him. for this one. <laughs> so, I, so, just, I so just because you're into something makes it a type of sexuality? No. No. Okay. I like, I, I thank y'all for being on the same page with that one. But I like how it screwed up your face. <laughs> we need it was to worth on the reaction. Later. Yes. Mm-hmm. That, that's, that's worth the 10 second commercial. Okay. All right. So, mm-hmm. how many types of sexualities do you guys know about? You know what? Oh, there's a lot. I didn't know there were that many, to be honest with you. I was thinking five at the most. What about you? I believe I read this week there's over 40 or 50 different types. Although I felt like some of them are overlapping. They Probably. Are. They are. Like, how long can you be bi curious? Like, you're either bi or you're not. <laughs> like, you can't be bi curious you you for like in... nine months and be like, well, I'm still not decided. Like... You can be in an old folks' home and still curious. <laughs> yeah, one yeah one person might not be able to be bi curious for that long, but you would still. But it, it's still a category because there's gonna always well, you're be. You're no new... longer curious if you continue to do it. Right, like, well, but there's you always enjoy gonna be, it. There's like... gonna always be new people coming into it. There's always going to be new yes, people coming no, into the category. Yes, but no, you can't. Like, how long can you define yourself under that sexuality? No, I'm saying there's always going to be new people that come into it. Yeah, so, I so know. If so if the category then... is not there anymore, then that's not fair for the people that are just coming into it. So, and and this is and not me being funny, but if you have somebody who's curious, bi curious, um, man or or a woman, and they never act on it, and they they never uh, scratch that itch, and won't they be curious? They still Forever, curious, right? Yes. Yeah, because yeah, they yeah, still haven't correct. experienced you're it. Correct. Right. Okay. All right. So yeah, I didn't know that there were as many as apparently there are. I don't know which ones are official. I don't know which ones are. I don't know if there's a group uh, organization that actually labels these things, and I don't know. We don't know if they're all made up. I got a text message this morning that with a whole nother one. That I didn't hear about until this morning, What's and that? apparently, you know, they're all made up. So I'm gonna go in alphabetical order. Oh, but I got wow. I got two good ones this morning, one from you, yes, and then one from someone else. That I was like, oh shit, that's kind of cool. It sounds cool, but is it a real thing? Because if it's not, I mean, who? I we, I don't know where to go to find out if it's real or not. But there are apparently a whole lot of sexualities types of sexualities all right so i've got listed in alphabetical order a handful of them i think about 20 of them i'm listening we're gonna try to touch on them all right so what i'm gonna do is this i'm gonna shout them out with the definitions and then we can have a little bit of fun with this are y'all ready we got a little bit of fun y'all ready yes sir yes sir so I'll shout them out with the definite. Well, no, I'll shout them out first, and then y'all tell me if you, based on the title, have any idea what it means, and then I'll go into the definition, and then we'll talk about how we feel about it. Pop questions again. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My favorite pitch in baseball was the curveball. I was good at it. Screwball. Screwball. Okay. Like, Same <laughs> thing. Okay. Slightly, that works too. Slightly worse than the curve. Okay. That works too. <laughs> the only difference is you, as a kid, you're conscious of throwing one of them versus the other one. Think about it. Yeah, exactly. So, for me, it works. So, I like throwing curveballs. You ready? 
I think we need the Jeopardy music. Oh. How's the Jeopardy music go? Is that the Twilight Zone? No. No, that's different. That's, that's much Jeopardy. higher pitched and faster. No. Uh-huh. Yeah. Read yeah. your question. All right, y'all ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Types of sexuality. Number one, Jamie's got her notes out. She's cheating. She's cheating a I'm little cheating. bit. She's I'm got her notes I under the table. Notes. She's I got, got her notes, notes under the table. She tried. She's. <laughs> let's see. Ready. Let's see what we got. The Deuce has no notes. He said he's mentally prepared for today. We're gonna see how this works. I was struggling. All right. Hmm. Autosexual. I have this one. <laughs> oh, so that means I gotta answer and say what I think it is. No, you're right. Autosexual. A U T O S E X U. A L autosexual. I feel like I'm in the script spelling bee right now. I feel like it's one of two things. It's either, either self love or somebody who likes to a- have sex in a car. <laughs> <laughs> now, I like the second one. Now, <laughs> that's dope. That's what that's what it should be. That's now, exactly that's, what it should. Now that that's could be a fetish. Oh no, that's a, right. That's not a sexuality. That's a fetish. Or that could be somebody with a broken down car in the front in the front yard. <laughs> Auto that's it's dope. easy to get to. Thank you for that. That's dope. What do you think? Oh, you you know what it is, huh? Yes, it's all it. right. Tell them what it is. It is attraction to yourself. So you're correct in a way that it is self love. It's being oh. sexually attracted to oneself. Does that mean you can't be sexually attractive to anybody else? Right. Like but I feel like you have to be partly autosexual to be comfortable in your sexuality. You have to be comfortable in yourself, and you should love yourself. A lot of these had me confused too, because I'm looking at them. I'm like, "Damn, am I that? Am I that? Am I that? Like, if I'm that, does that mean I can't be that too? Like, I'm confused because, all right, I'm not sexually attracted to myself, but I'm attracted to myself, right? Right. And then it says masturbation doesn't determine that category. So, which really confused me. Like, yeah. So like, I'm like, I'm like, mean? so what do you like, mean? So how, I, so how else would you be sexually attracted to yourself? So, like, you just kissing yourself? Is that some like somebody who would say, you know, get all dressed up, cross dressed or straight dressed, and and be like, damn, I will fuck myself. Right. <laughs> and then what do you do I, after I, that? What's the next step? On me. You know. What's the no, next but step? I feel like it's more that you only feel that attraction to yourself and you don't right. feel that connection with other people that you only and that's why you're identifying as autosexual like, like I've seen even females. though I have a connection with other people in the situation they don't feel that they have the same attraction that they have to themselves like I've seen females suck their own breasts does that make them an autosexual no because I feel like does that just like... make them nasty why is it gotta be nasty? It's not, uh, you like to suck boobs, right? Yeah. Ah, yes, so exactly. If a girl likes to suck one, if you She's could suck your own boobs, you know you own. would. That's hilarious. <laughs> you know you would. Every man I, would I, if I, they I've could. Had, I've had that thought in my head one time. <laughs> like, if I could, like, when I couldn't find would somebody I do it, to come would over. Would it make me gay? Like, I couldn't find somebody to come over. Like, yo, if I could suck my own dick, I would definitely suck I my own dick. I remember when it but, was, came out that Marilyn Manson took out a rib so he could do it. And it's still, like, no, I'd rather somebody now, else do it. Well, 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 okay. So, with that being said, there actually is a category in pornography called autofellatio. And that's what that is. It's sucking your own penis. Yeah, it exists. It's a real wow. thing. So, so that person, I guess, I guess today. that person in that moment would be an autosexual. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. And maybe that's the only time that they feel that way. Like right. Maybe it's, that's the only way they can all day, every day type thing. Climax. If they, if that's crazy. Themselves. And shout out to all of the people that are having sex in cars right now. <laughs> or on cars. <laughs> <All right. laughs> on cars, in cars. On cars, in cars. My cousin told me that yesterday. She posted in the what you call it that she had. Uh, we had posted the poll yesterday in the group that said. Uh, Your craziest place. The craziest public place. And my cousin said on the car in the rain. I was like, you didn't slide off the hood? How does that work? You know what? Now that you got me thinking, you got my brain rolling, which you should not do. Like, how did you not slide off the front of the hood in the car in the rain? What if you're on the West Coast? (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Right? You're on the West Coast and you got one of those remote control cars. What if you're hitting it and hitting the remote and you got the car bouncing? That sounds dope. 
But how do you not slide off the fucking car in the rain? Is it the older flat it, mobile. It's focused. Flatter. And maybe her butt was tight. That's and it just shit right it, there. it suctioned on the hood. All right. Hold on. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> all right. So shout out to the auto, all the autosexuals. She gripped up. We love hood. you too, autosexuals. All right. Y'all ready? Yo. Yes. Type of sexuality number two. Number two. Bi curious. We went over this. So we know what that already. means, right? Yeah. So for those that may not know, the the people that the young the people that are coming up, they may not know what their lives are like. Bi curious. What, what, tell them what that means, Mister the Deuce. That means you're curious about the same sex. Like you, you probably view yourself as either heterosexual or homosexual, but you're curious about the opposite. Whatever that opposite is. So if you're a man, you might be curious about another man. If you're a woman, you might be curious about another woman. Or you're a woman who likes women but curious about men. But that's not typically your lane. All right. Experience sexual, romantic, or emotional attractions to people of more than one gender. Mm. Right? Go Webster's. Go Webster's. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if that came from Webster's or not, but I like Webster's. That's what that's what it is. We know a lot of bisexual people, right? Actually, a whole lot. Ever since since I was turned on to it, about twenty years old, twenty twenty one years old, and even more now, like this generation. Yeah. But let me ask: it's more women than men, right? Yeah, but still more women are uh, upfront about it than men. Yeah. And like now, like. What is there a name for the generation of kids nowadays? This generation? I don't know what they are. I'm sure there is. Hey, right. What century is this? Is this still the 21st century? Oh, we into a whole other century. <laughs> no, that was Fox. That was. <laughs> all right. So what's this? What century are we in now? <laughs> no, it was 21st. We still the 21st century. Because it was because it was 20th right. century Fox. It's so, one above where we are. All right. So, all right. So like now, I feel like, I feel like that shit is kind of like they coming out the womb bisexual. I feel like everybody's bisexual now. Well, yeah. I mean. I mean that's why not everybody, but you know. I no, mean I, it's. I think it's more accepted to fig- to say where you figured out where you are at a younger age. That's why you. That's why there's that whole controversy over whether you should allow a child pre a prepubescent child to have a sex change, um, mm. because they feel that they've already know that. Look, I prefer to be a woman. Or I prefer to be a man. Or I'm attracted to men. I'm attracted to women. I'm attracted to my same gender. At an earlier age, and it's more acceptable, right? Um, it's my thought. I do feel they're more consciously open-minded about people's sexuality, the youth, and they don't feel that they need to put the stigmas that our generation had put on certain sexualities, and they're so they're more opening, open and accepting to different types of sexuality, so they can express them more openly. That's good. Acceptance is a good thing. You know, that's a step in the right direction. If we can accept everyone and every people, there's more people nowadays that are open-minded to the ideas of different sexualities and expressions and explorations. But I definitely feel like nowadays, like these motherfuckers are coming out like, and everybody's just like, yo, down for whatever, (laughs) like with whoever, you know what I'm saying? Just my experiences. All right, so yeah, that's the definition of bisexual. Well, bi curious and bisexual. All right, ready? The next one, which is I don't even understand how this is. I don't think it's a type of sexuality, but it's a term that fits in the whole the genre of expression. Closeted. Closeted. When you hear that, what do you think? Jamie Sage um, Those are um, Gay uh, people who are afraid To come out to their family So they are still keeping their sexuality Under wraps And I thought it a game Kiss and countdown Even though I know what closeted means <laughs> What's kiss and countdown You don't remember that when we was Five little? minutes in heaven <laughs> In the closet <laughs> oh, I, I, I seven minutes in heaven <laughs> Yeah you I, Going I, to oh, closet right, Y'all called oh, it You know how you knew There was, it was like 20 what, names for it what, what did you say what it was Kiss and countdown Kiss and countdown I remember seven, seventh heaven Or seven minutes in heaven That type of thing Yeah Yeah so 
All right. Why'd you think about that? Because you said in the closet. Because you said closeted. Because you did it in the closet. Like, to, yeah, closet. Yeah, like, yeah. I always was confused when I was young about that when that term came out and they were like, oh, they're closeted. And I was like, like they're kissing people. And then I, like, <laughs> but it makes sense because they're only kissing people in the in closet. The closet. It's crazy. It's closeted. People that don't publicly or openly share their sexual identity, sexual attraction, sexual behavior, gender expression, or gender identity. So basically, people that ain't telling people shit. People that... They're not ready. That go out into the world and they're just human beings and they don't share any part of their personal stuff with anybody when it comes to... They put on a face more often than not. Sexual identity. Or I wouldn't say it's putting on a face because they can still be being who they are. They just don't want to share what they do with people. But not if you are not identifying yourself as what you are. Like you said in there that they're not even identifying their gender. So, but like people are going to make an assumption that you're gender. And so if you're not living to be who you are, like. Okay. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I guess if, if, if it's not clear that this person is a female or a male, like you can't really tell what this person is. Yeah, that's kind of deceiving a little bit. It's kind of fucked up. But, but is it? Do we really care? No, not Do we really, really care what people. No, I, I'm what just people, saying like, that I feel like that definitely. I only care was... if you're approaching me. I yeah. want you to be straight up. <laughs> that makes let sense. Let me know. Right. You're, well, Get, let me, ma- let me make the decision. Part. Right. Yeah, if you're approaching me, then yeah, I need, I need to know because I need to be able to make the decision. That makes sense. Do yeah, I want to pursue Yeah, me now? too. I'm like, I don't really care what you're doing with your life. As long as you respect my space, I'm good. Yes, sir. All right. Ready for the next one? Next yes, one. Sir. Never heard of this one until this week. It halfway makes sense to me, but then it's also kind of crazy. Cupia. I think this is how you say it. I don't even know if this is how you say it. You didn't get the pronunciation from Webster's? <laughs> Go for Lifeline? it. I don't press that button. <laughs> I don't press the, the pronunciation button. Cupio sexual. Cupio. Sexual. This for Greeks? Yes. Wait, what? Is it for Greeks? Yeah, little Cupid. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, like, wait, what? What just happened? Does anybody have any idea what that... I do have it in my notes. Oh. Prepared. Tell me. Tell them what it it is, Miss Sage. I will read the... Asexual people who don't experience sexual... uh Uh-oh. Attraction but still have a desire to engage in sexual activity. So, so hold on. So, they're, tr- they're not attracted, but right. they still want to get it on. Right. How does this work? So, they, so you're they doing want, it for they, the exercise and not the release. Wait, no, what? I thought they were doing it. For the, <laughs> no, 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 I thought they were doing it for the release. <laughs> Wait a minute. But they, you're like, they, they don't care who it's with. I don't. No? I, they don't I, experience I, I have, sexual attraction. But still have the desire to engage in sexual behavior. Yeah, then they want a release. They want the release. They're like, eh. And you they know. don't care who it's with. But then again, you know what? Oh, I know some people like that. Right. I mean, like, if you hit somebody you're, you're not really, you're not attracted to, but you really just want a bus. I know some people that. Like would that. make you a cupio in that situation, right? I know some people that would prefer to have sex with strangers than they would people that they actually like. Oh, you just took it a different way. Yeah, I can see that too. That's crazy. That was bugged out to me when I they, first heard that. I was like, "Really? They don't want that closeness. They don't want. They don't want that attachment. Right? They don't want no emotions involved. They don't want. Yeah, they don't want the closeness. They just want to fuck. But are they attracted to the person they sleep with? Like, not they don't care physically. Attra- oh, they just all right. Got they you. don't care who it is. They just they just they just need it. Or they just need you know. They, yeah, they just need the release. They either need they a stick need or yeah. They just a, a they need space. the release, and that's what it is. And then it's like get out my face. Are you still those are the those are the ones right. Those are the ones <laughs> that have been done for two there, minutes. There's no but such thing. There's no out. such thing as a sleepover. <laughs> with, I with call those you people. A cat. Sleepover. Yeah, like like. Well, you're getting you comfortable. Like, did you just ask me? Did you ask me for a sandwich? Fuck out of my house. Don't go to you know the bathroom. Just like, go. Like what? The Uber's waiting. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Cabs here. Here's a wet wipe. Like, what are you asking me about? Why are you asking me about my my dog's name for? No, leave. Like what the hell? Um, I know some people like that. That's crazy. Cupio sexual. You know anybody like that that fits that? No, I do not. 
Uh, well, not that they've expressed crazy. to me if they are. That's good. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> that is not really good. They, they've expressed <laughs> He didn't say, hey, I'm not here <laughs> for you. I'm just here, just for, here for the nut. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're just here for the job, the blow job, that is. In and out. All right, so <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Q- QPO, se- QPO sexual. All right, so I'm going to throw a definition just to let people know this is not a type of sexuality, but this is just some information in regards to, you know, sexuality types and expression types and just some terminology so when you hear the term fluidity or fluid like when people say gender fluid or da 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 fluid fluidity it's a sexuality it, it says in this that sexuality can change over the course of someone's life and in different situations so this is true this is very true yes. I, I know I've, I've experienced that and witnessed some witnessed some people that are going through some things too and from my experiences it's very clear you know what I'm saying like just because you're something today doesn't mean that you're going to be that for the rest of your life Right. it doesn't mean that you can't be something else so like you can be straight today and then life can hit you tomorrow some real shit can happen and you can all of a sudden by definition or by the terminology you can fuck around and be bisexual tomorrow by curious the next day or asexual or even, after yeah, that even more that you you know there's plenty of girls out there who thought they were heterosexual until they realized they're not and that they never want to go back to men right absolutely life can put you in the figure four i mean i i, I would just say growth i mean you grow as an individual and you figure out you figure out learn more about yourself and you learn what you really like, what you really don't like, what you prefer, and who you are in the beginning is not, definitely not who you are in the end. You're constantly changing. Um, so I, I I can see fluidity being being a good term. That's but I fact. think that's a good term for a lot of people. That's a fact. All right. So just wanted to throw that out there. Now let's get back to where we're going. Third. Sexuality type number five, four, something like that. Wait. Well, <laughs> number five. Somebody sexuality didn't number type their number notes. five. Y'all ready? Yes, sir. I put myself into this category. Demisexual. You want a demonstration of how sexual you are? <laughs> <laughs> I can give it. I can, to I, can give, I can do that too if you need one. Oh, I he can, likes Democrats. I can show, <laughs> a demo, a demo sexual, not demo sexual, demisexual. Oh, you want Demi more? I do. <laughs> I know you do. Absolutely do. More than once in my life. All right, demisexual. You already got. It. I can't even come to you. You you cheated. Because I over. got prepared. Got, Thank she, you. I can't I even come to you. I got being talked shit to. Came. You did. You right. been coming for on the notes. So when notes. you so when you hear demisexual, what do you think of? Uh, what do, you, what, do you know what what comes to mind? Well, I mean, original. I just said what came to my mind, but now I'm thinking demigod. But I'm not sure. All right. Tell Ms. me what Sage? demi is. Miss Sage, tell them what it is. People who only develop a re- sexual attraction under certain circumstances after building a romantic or emo- emotional relationship. Uh, I can see that's that. me. That's me. As I've grown older, that's what I have become, for sure. I used to be able to just have sex, just to have sex, like just for fun, just because I love females. But now, as a, as an older male, with like goals and shit I mean I've always had goals but like it's more I can't do it no more I can't have just I can't just do casual sex I can't do one night stands I can't meet you tonight and just be attracted to you physically and be like let's do it and that be that that's it's impossible for my brain my shit doesn't my like my dick won't even get hard you know what I'm saying like I have to know that there's something to look forward to other than the way you look, you know what I'm saying, or you can work your body because it, 
a million bad bitches out here. I'm with you 100% on that. You have to do something extra to get my attention. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll say, you know, I went to a party recently and it took conversation or somebody doing extra, extra for me to, oh, okay, to even for me to feel something like that. Other than that, I was like, okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. right. Oh, that looks nice. Right. But that's it. You know, <laughs> right. Like wow, that's all that's you a, got. That's a badge. Oh, okay. But I, yeah, I gotta, I got you gotta, like, wimp, like I've heard a lot of women say, you gotta motivate my brain. It's, you gotta, gotta connect be. to my, yeah, it's, it's gotta be more than just, damn, look at her, you know, um, right. Right. more than just the physical attraction. Yeah. Right. Even, even, even really bad physically. Women, you know, I can say, damn, I would love to, but it just not, it still does not that doesn't make turn me, me up. Yeah, yeah, it don't make like, me move. I can absolutely compliment you. We can have a good time. Like, we, if we're in the same venue or environment, like, I'll approach you, compliment you, let you know what it is. We could dance if we got to dance or talk if we got to talk, laugh if we got to laugh, but that's not, that's not enough to just be like, yo, I want to take you home. Let's do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I lost that. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I mean, I think trauma has a lot to do with it. I think emotional trauma has a lot to do with it because it's like sometimes it's like it's not even worth it. It's not even worth taking the risk. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, okay, you look good. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know where this might go. Like, you might be a stalker. Like, you might have drama with you in life. Nah. I'd rather get to know you first before I do anything. You know what I'm saying? That's definitely me. I'm a demisexual, for sure. What about you? I'm with you on that one. I'm at that age in my life where it's way beyond just physical attraction to people. Right. I also say you have more fun when you when there's a connection. Yes. Yeah, it's, you know, you feel like you can let loose. Um, whether that letting your hair down, being yourself, um, when it's more than just physical yeah um, i agree a thousand percent i don't even know if i want that ability to just be physical anymore neither i don't i know yeah. i don't no i mean if no. i could like if i could if i like damn shorty mm, and I, I could jump it i just i don't have that ability and i don't even know if i want like i said i don't even know if i want that ability it's just i'm fucking people's world up if i did that like if i did that still to this day like if i just met somebody today and then took them home and did the shit that I would do to you if I really knew you. I'm fucking people's world up. Like, how many people are really, like, you meet somebody today and then you take them home and you give them a whole package, like. You don't give anybody a whole package, not like that. That's what I'm saying. Right. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, if that was the case, like, if we just met today and I'm like, damn, girl. <laughs> and then we kick, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's go. Let's, and we go do it. If I really gave you what I what I would normally give, if I really knew you and I liked you like that, I'm fucking world up. You're not gonna just leave the crib on some oh it was nice meeting you type shit. You're gonna be like yo, when the fuck can we do this again? Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking worlds up. You're gonna have stalkers. Yeah, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? And I don't I don't want those problems. I don't want those problems at all. So I'd rather get to know somebody, spend some time, so y'all know what my life is like. I know what your life is like. We can figure out if the shit works, how we gonna, what we're gonna be to each other, and then we can have the fun. Because, like you said, it's just, it's better that way. It's, it's definitely you, you better. Ha- yeah, you have you have more fun that way. It's, yeah, the less drama. And if you got a small penis like me, then you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you don't have to take the whole bunch of backlash. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Cause you love me more than anything else <laughs> You know what I'm saying So we can work that out Alright y'all ready Taking it on the chin You, you, you know there is I video got You got to at some point You, right? you know there is video right You got to right You Yo, know there is video I, I got a question We're gonna have a whole other conversation About dick size I got a whole lot of questions We don't need that conversation I got a whole Thank lot you. of questions Because there was some people Was that on our, was that in our group Was that today Or was that yesterday In the group When they were talking about Dick size that Size was, matters Oh, No that was earlier this that week was, Early yeah, you know week. I don't log in that often. I haven't logged in about yeah. four days. We gotta have that conversation. We have to. Is it, I mean, because it's still, that still but... like that's still a lingering thing. Like to this day, like there's still like there's still women, even older women, that are like, 
size actually matter. Like, it definitely matters. How dare you say it doesn't matter? And then there's ones that's like, no, it doesn't matter, motherfucker. Like, he just got to know how to use it. You know what I'm saying? So we got we got to have that conversation because hey, I, yeah, I, I come we're not on that conversation. Yeah, we're gonna do that I'm later. About, we about to jump all over it. Yeah, Let, let's right. stick to the topic. All right. <laughs> so, type of sexuality. So that was demisexual. I'm demisexual. Type of sexuality number six. All right. So now we go back into gender fluid. We don't really need to go into it because fluidity kind of gives you what that is. But I'll be brief with this one. Gender fluid refers to sexuality, sexual attraction. And sexual behavior that can change over time and be dependent on a situation. All right, gender fluid. I actually know a lot of people that are that actually classify themselves as that. I didn't know what that term meant until I was educated on it by a very good friend of mine who's a very popular person in the world, and he told me this, and I was like, "Oh, wow!" And that's what he. Um, classifies himself as and but in the world a lot of people who know him and you know everybody knows him and and when you look at him the majority of people just call him gay and he's like nah I'm not gay I'm gender fluid that's what I classify as so I'm like what does that even mean you know what I'm saying so he educated me on that so thank you for that sir you know who I'm talking about I ain't gonna shout you out right now but um you know, it, it it started to make sense after he said it to me. Then I started to look at things differently. I'm like, oh, okay. And then I started to see more people that reflected that same image. I'm like, damn. So now I can't even just look at somebody and just be like, that person's gay. Like, you don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't even know. So now I just ask people, like, what are you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I might, I might be able to look at you and tell that you're a feminine acting or something like that but i'm not gonna just shoot it out and be like oh yeah that person's gay or that person's a lesbian you know what i'm saying like you don't even know there's so many things now so gender fluid once again refers to sexuality sexual attraction and sexual behavior that can change over time and be dependent on a situation all right now we're about to get into some stuff that i ain't never heard of ever in life oh we don't need to talk about gay well actually we do all right so sexual Type number seven, gay. Why is your face so serious right now? Yeah, <laughs> it really is. <laughs> like, like, you all right? Is something going on? Why are you so serious right now? My brain was in Webster's. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> you, said, right. you, said, you said gay, and, you like... and, and you know, I thought of one definition, and I thought, yeah, you know, so you know what? Why did they, you know what, maybe gay people are happy. That's why the That's one of the definitions for gay happy. is happy. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, hmm. And my, my brain was doing the... Uh, but that's actually not the definition of gay. That's queer. It's happy. No, actually. Really? Yes. I'm like almost 100% sure. Look it up. We're going to let him All right. check that real so, quick. Go for it. No, gay. No, what, check it, please. Listen. Gay, what do you have? Uh... Attracted to the same sex. Gay. Attracted Only. to the same sex. Gay. Individuals who experience sexual, romantic, or emotional attraction to people of the same or similar gender. That's throwing me off, too. Well, like, what is similar? Well, that's because now we have when gender just, fluidity oh, and yeah. people need to identify. And that's why people use their pronouns now. <laughs> that's how people use it's their true. pronouns like, now. I get a lot of the emails that he, say he, he, he she, he, she her, they, yeah, my pronouns are. Me. Okay. My children went to a school, like in <laughs> high school, where there were plenty of people that put their pronouns in the yearbook. They had really? their pronouns there. Like. Oh, wow. Ha. Okay. So, Webster says the definition is happy, excited, or merry. <laughs> <laughs> or merry? Merry. Or Mary? Mary, Mary, as in Merry Christmas. M E R. Oh, Mary. Oh, Mary. So happy, excited, or Mary. Okay. Well, I'm hey, gay. And if you want past a gay bar, they could be really Mary. I'm gay. I ain't mad at you. If that's the case. I know a lot of. You know what I'm saying? I'll take gay. Mary people. I'm, I'll take gay. Oh. Yeah. I wonder. If, I'll take gay. I wonder if the creators of the Flintstones was dropping hints. Like I think I think I think a lot I think a lot of I think a lot of things back then were dropping hints. For sure. A lot of shows were dropping hints. For sure, you know, Bugs Bunny was dressed in drag. Oh, that's hilarious. He was that's though. That's true. That's that's funny. All right, so gay Give me a kiss. 
All right, sexual oh, stereotypes. I'm not stereotype. I mean, so that's I want to play sexual stereotypes. I got a couple. Oh All boy. Right. All right. It's my Just idea, lose. unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> was it though? Yeah. All right. Was. Type of that was your idea last night. Last night. Yes, when we were in the car. I told you. It's like, oh, this is what the game. Anyway, please continue. Oh, don't remember that. All right, I'll take my credit. Oh, he's gonna. He's, you can take it because I don't remember. Thank Type you. of sexuality number eight. I'm sure no one's ever heard of this one. Gray sexual. Absolutely. You've heard of it? Yes. Both of y'all have heard of it. Mm-hmm. What? There's a gray area in my sexuality. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Y'all have heard of that? You heard of that before? I have to admit that one's not in my notes, but I feel like I read it. And Wait I did not a put it down. Now I'm, I'm lying. But that's what it sounds like it sounds like. It does. It sounds <laughs> like you're that confused. That is what it sounds like. That's, that's what it probably sounds like. why. So when so when I read it I was like, Oh, okay, I know what that means. But then that's not what that means. What does somebody it mean? like somebody with gray scale? That's funny too. Gray sexual. That's hilarious. He said he's heard to of it. old people. This guy, this guy over here is like, he's like, I heard of it. Like, that's, like, that's, like, that's, like, heard of that before? Never heard of that shit. All right. Don't explicitly and exclusively identify as asexual or a romantic, and may experience some sexual attraction or desire. So it's not quite black so or white. No it's gray. Like yet. It's yeah. not black or white. It's it gray. Is. It's so a gray, it's a gray area. area. So yeah, I had it. So it was like kids? No. These are no. These adults that feel that way? Yeah. Yes. They don't want to classify themselves as curious. They're not sure. They're not sure what they like. Well, yeah. Mm hmm. Huh. But they're going to play around they until, they until they figure they it out. out. <laughs> Again, okay. so they can okay. get some satisfaction yeah, so while they figure it out. They're going to experiment. Okay, right. all right. Okay, gray sexual. Got it. Those are the ones that end up tied up, too. All right. Yes. Got you. Shout all out right. to my gray sexuals. That's hilarious. Ha! You know what? Let's be honest now. Through the history of growing and meeting new people, there's some women that you've experienced some things with, have never experienced anything. They're figuring out what they like, what they don't like. No, that's true. There was some gray area there. Shout out to all my gray sexuals. <laughs> Thank you for letting I'm, me tie I, you up. I'm, hey, let I'm, me introduce <laughs> you to uh to the paddle. Hey. To, <laughs> <laughs> in the in the group in the group, I'm putting I'm putting emojis next to all the gray sexuals when I tag them in the post. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put an emoji so everybody knows who the gray sexuals are. Shouting them out, just putting people's business on blast. Why not? Okay. We gotta help. We gotta. I help. tried anal once. Hey, we gotta help. Anal, this, and then hey, yeah, hey, right now hey, be a chance. Twenty twenty. It's our duty to help people find themselves. Absolutely. Yes, you can help people find themselves. It's not your duty to put that the person you found for them on blast. It's, it's not their blast. Duty I, for I them. I, I'm just gonna put an emoji next to it. Can I? Can I? Give so that so that so that they know I know. Well, they know you know already. I assure you, they know. They like, probably were there. Why do you like you? Oh, need you were the in the room. <laughs> no, I like, gotta, gotta let them know that I know. Like I know, I see you. You know what I'm saying? I don't. They want, see you. Though. I don't want anyone. I don't want anyone. They to, know. They see I don't want you. anyone to feel invisible. <laughs> Not your job. Next. I gotta, <laughs> right? Exactly. Like who put you in charge of the awards? No, it's I'm just You're not the award no, committee. It's not, it's Nobody not an needs award. your trophy for it. No, no, award is just me letting you know that I see you. How can I else can I let you know that I see you but not letting you know that I see you? You don't want them to feel left out? Exactly. I don't want you to feel invisible. Somebody sees you. Okay. And his name is Livid. So can we have a uh like do they want to be seen? Is the question. Can we Everybody like, wants to be seen. Can we have like a key at the bottom so that Everybody I know who does what? Everybody wants to be seen. Can I have a key at the bottom so we know who does what? So like, oh. <laughs> no, this is not like a chart. Like 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 this is not like, like a, key. a conspiracy, like a, like, a, like a comparison <laughs> chart. Like, oh, I should call her. And Two roses her. means yeah, <laughs> yeah, like a Zelda key. Yeah, this person's got all of these attributes. Yes. <laughs> I'm with that. And then you need a single sign. My man. That's oh, what we're going to do. Oh, we gonna, hey, we're going to start our own date. We're going to not s- condone this experience. <laughs> we're going to start our own date. Her hair can mean that she likes her hair pulled. <laughs> we're going to. 
We're going to start our own dating shit. Just to do the wig. All on behalf of gray sexuals. Yeah. That's very kind of you, too. Right. Looking out for people. Exactly. Yes. Teamwork yeah. makes a dream work, man. Where you at? Where you at? Yeah. Yeah. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? All right. All right. Y'all ready? Yes, sir. Type of sexuality number nine. I don't even know how to say this the right way, but I'm going to try. All right. Gynosexual. G-Y-N-E. Sexual. That's attracted to the gynecologist. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, or the people who, you're attracted to send you to the gynecologist. Who, <laughs> who likes strange hands in her vagina. Yeah. I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. that a, uh, as a man, just, you know, that's where you like to focus. It's the only thing, like, yeah, like you'd like to do. All you like to do is finger people. Finger a uh, uh, lick, yeah. That's it. There, there's some guys that I've heard of that, you know, that that's exclusively what they want to do. It's a very good guess. All right. Gynosexual, if that's how you say it. Term used to communicate sexual or romantic attraction to women, females, or femininity. And that's probably why. Run it back. Okay. The term used to communicate sexual or romantic attraction to women, females, or femininity. But it's not limited to lesbians, correct? Right. It's not limited. So you're so, technically so under we're, that we're category. We're both gynosexuals. And that's probably why men become gynecologists. Or even women become gynecologists. I, I always thought that it was no, the perverted kid who the became... the study of the woman's parts, but... No, it is. I'm saying, but that's probably why they become that, because they're gynosexuals. I thought it was a perverted kid who from, from elementary school was looking up um, girls' dresses... Things like that who became gynecologists. Exactly, because they're gynosexuals. Okay. Because they're sexually or romantically attracted to women. So why not choose a career that you can play with random women every day? I'm good with that. It's not playing, I promise you. Not- You've never been in the room. <laughs> it's not there's no play just- in a visit to the doctor. <laughs> yeah. Like when they do the prostate exam for you guys, do you feel that's play? Never had one. Oh, you'll get one. Yeah, I'm oh. not there yet. Pop. Not there I, got yet. <laughs> I got eight more years. Not, not there yet. I don't see prostate sexual on this motherfucker. <laughs> 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 they, that doesn't exist. They ain't ready for those yet. That's uh, crazy. But I also felt like, you know, the the wife of a gynecologist probably does not get oral sex. Very often? Mm, probably not. Her. I feel like they separate their job from their sex life. I, I don't think that they're looking at women's pussies all day to be stimulated. Like, no, no, no. And especially in that job, not every woman is clean and right. nice. And I think it would give you a whole different aspect of you're not going into it like, oh, they're beautiful flowers <laughs> I get to see every day. Like, right. there's going to be some shit like, so we can't right. save that. Please just go away. <laughs> right. So Miss say so if, if if I'm coming home That's to you hilarious. and I've and I've I've had ten of these clients that you just described, I'm not probably in the mood. <laughs> Even if I'm in the mood, I'm not in the mood to get down there. Or or it could be like a dentist family whose everybody's teeth are perfect. So maybe I'm giving you personal grooming at home. On a daily basis. Yes. And yours is now clean and perfect and dainty and all that. Nice. Well, that's why so, you, you're the wife in the first place. Because right. he was like, I can accept it. <laughs> I've seen scary. a lot, just, and you're okay, honey. You can't slack. You can't slack on that. She you might gain have, weight. The wife might have the best looking vagina in the world. Right. She got all the tri- she she got all the creams and all of the. But she probably can't have jewelry. Takes. Probably definitely doesn't have jewelry. He probably be against her having jewelry. And you're right. She probably doesn't get much loving. Because the, he's probably like, in order for your vagina to be as pretty as it needs to be, you can't get much. Or I can blow on it. Oh, you have flashbacks from work. Could blow. Oh, that's disgusting. No, you that's know what? Sucks. I read an article this week that you're not supposed to blow air into people's private parts. Wasn't that on our our you website? Get air Wait, what? Was that it? No, actually, it wasn't there. No, sw- swear to God, I read this thing and it was. It was somebody's worst sexual experience, and they said the person blew air into her stomach and then pressed on it to make her queef. And there was a doctor that replied and said, this can literally kill you. Don't ever do that. This will literally, it could possibly cause 
So what veins about the Hall's trick? Yo, that's crazy. So <laughs> what was the Hall's trick? Is that off the limit? The, what is the? What Hall's about the Mentos trick? trick? In the Mentos or the oh, Hall's? Oh, put oh it, wow! Uh, I yeah. didn't. Uh, oh, okay. I wouldn't suggest doing that. <laughs> <it. laughs> Wait, what? I don't have a personal medical degree, but I'm gonna suggest based on that. Wait, what? No, I can't okay. remember the last time I actually blew on something, but I used to. I used to blow all the time. Like that was part of the thing. I don't think I blew pull it there. back a little bit. And, yeah. like, Maybe used, a little bit, but it can kill like, you. No, no, but I think blow, like, I think it was more inside. Like, yeah, yeah, significant. Like, air inside. There's like blowing on, and then there's blowing in. Like you could blow around a balloon; it's not going to blow up. But if you stick your lips on there and go. The balloon's gonna blow up. I don't. Well, you know what? That's crazy. Let me knock any. Don't not knock any. What anybody likes to do, but for me, I'm like why? That sucks. I don't, I don't know. I uh, just. I mean, these blow. are the things you read. No. That sucks for them. All right. Type of sexuality number ten. We don't need to do much. Heterosexual. Experience sexual, romantic, or emotional attraction to the opposite or different gender. Heterosexual. I think I've been that. At least once. Twice. Type of sexuality number 11. Homosexual. Sexual, romantic, or emotional attraction to people of the same gender. Homosexual. Type of sexuality number 12. Lesbian. A woman or female identified person who experiences sexual, romantic, or emotional attraction to the same or similar gender. Lesbian. See, I feel that's overlapping of the homosexual definition. It's just a subcategory. That's just the, yes. f- that's the female For version the female, of homosexual. Yes. Right. Correct. Right. Type of sexuality, number 13. Now we're getting into the real stuff. Gotta take a sip. The real stuff. Wish we had the real stuff. Just... <laughs> Type of sexuality, number 13. Libidoist asexual. Oh, and your phone's not off. Ooh. Le- <laughs> Is that a call in customer? Because I have I have been getting I have been getting text messages all day. My phone didn't ring, so I didn't even know my phone was on ring. Yeah, I don't think you'd accept that excuse for me. Excuses. <laughs> mm-hmm. So <laughs> libido sexual. And somebody Type of sexuality number thirteen. Libidoist asexual. L I B I D O I S T. Libidoist asexual. The speaker. So I would say that somebody with a high sex drive with themselves. Maybe somebody guess. with a masturbating issue. That is a very good guess. Uh, you know, I'm smart. Is that your final answer? It's my final answer. Libidoist asexual, an asexual person who experiences sexual feelings that are satisfied through self-stimulation or masturbation. Excellent job, Deuce. Thank you. This guy is a pro. I've had sex once or twice. He's a pro. We'll give it to him. (laughs) Once or twice? Once Once or or twice. twice. With the same person. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Type of sexuality number 14. 14. And this is not even all of them. We're going to have to we're going to have to have a whole we're going to have, oh, to, we're gonna have to have a part 2 to this conversation. This is not even close to all of them. You could just post the list. But go ahead. Okay. Number 14, pansexual. I've heard of this one. What you got? And I've dated a Panamanian woman too. (laughs) I've dated a Panamanian woman before. She was gorgeous. Tell I said hi. (laughs) Pansexual Panamanian. That's funny. I even heard somebody say, uh, you know, that was like a sci fi uh, pan. Oh, that was that movie. Anyway, pansexual. I don't remember what it is, but I definitely heard of it. Okay. Yeah, I don't. You don't, I don't have, have that on your I list. Have nothing. Ooh, what kind of homework did you do? That's a popular I, one. Somebody even said Peter Pan sex. Oh man, Peter Pan sex. That's a good one. Pan flying, sex while flying, or that or vivid, on the Peter imagination. Pan bus. <laughs> vivid imagination. Or vivid imagination. Pansexual individuals who can experience sexual, romantic, or emotional attraction to any person, regardless of gender, mm. sex, or sexuality. 
basically a lover of people. Mm. Pretty much. Right. I know yes. a lot of those. I- I've known a couple. You know, you could be man, woman, transgender, whatever. Yeah. You're cute. You're mine. <laughs> <laughs> you're cute. You're mine. <laughs> I thought I was a pansexual at one point in my life earlier when I first started studying sexualities because I just looked at it as like, yeah, I could love anybody, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't any sexual attraction. It was just like, I just love, I could love everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could be a man or whatever. I could still love you the same way. I'm not going to have sex with you, but I could still love you the same way. So then when I started to do more research about sexuality and stuff, I'm like, all right, I'm not a pansexual. Is this like a pan? Lover or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> like pansexual, pansexual, not so much. But there's a lot of females that I know that are, are that way. Hmm. I haven't met. Oh, I haven't met too many men that say that they're pansexual. But, but I feel. Like I want to say I've met a couple of men. Yeah. yeah. You don't know as many bi men as you know women. True. Why? Well, I think they just scared. Yeah. I think no. that men are much more uncomfortable being open with their sexuality in that case. Yeah, you're probably right. Give it another 50 years. 50? I'll give it another 10. It's going to change. 50? Actually, How you know I, what? I, I take mean, I say another 30. They act there's actually they even got a Netflix show or something like that where there's a kid who's a t- he's a, like he's supposed to be in high school. And he doesn't know if he likes boys, girls, or go in between. So he dates everybody. Yeah, I don't. Mm-hmm. I, I sort of add, add on. I want to say it's Netflix and not Amazon Prime, but yeah, I, I sort of add for about three, four months ago. Okay, came out. All right. Yeah. I mean, and there's definitely a lot of art and entertainment that's leaning more in the direction of people being extremely free and open in their sexuality and expression. So it'll, I went fifty years. Fifty years is a lot. I say like maybe twenty at the latest, where everybody's just going to be like, "It is what it is." People are just going to be living the way that they're supposed to be living, and they don't really give a fuck about what the masses think or people think anymore. Hopefully. All right. Type of sexuality number fifteen. We got two more to go, including this one. Sapiosexual. Definitely heard of this one. Search your notes, Miss Sage. She 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 hit the button real quick on her phone. Like, oh, I got this one. I know what this one is. I seen that on my list. What you got? Tell them what it is. Uh, attracted to somebody based on intelligence, Ooh. rather than sex or gender. gender. Yes. yes, that's correct. And there are a lot of people out there who pretend to be sapiosexual sexuals, but they're really not. Oh, how does that work? What you think? Huh? Oh, what you mean? I like men and women who are brainy, but they don't, you know. Until they actually meet somebody that's brainy. <laughs> then it's Which like, is true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah everybody, yeah. Until I want somebody they who can actually match meet me, somebody that's know, brainy. There actually are people who get turned on through intelligent conversation. Yeah. But uh, that's not their primary. Right. That shit goes out the window. It goes out the window. For sure. Then they become more like Demi. Right, I seriously. It's more too. demi than I they're more demi than they than are saving. Right. right, right. I experienced that too, and I was like, I, I, I used to be a person who like oh, I would try to correct people, like like I would point shit out and be like da da da, like you're not that would like you say you're that, but you're not, and then I realized that people really get defensive and get upset and stuff like that, so I just stopped doing that shit. But, but the fact. It's yeah, right. <laughs> like, the fact is, everybody has groupies, and but not everybody's groupies are, you know, real. That's a fact, though. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. So yeah, that's <laughs> just like most. Like a lot of people say that they're freaks until they meet a real freak. I'm freaky. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like just because you take a nude photo, I'm just be- yeah, <laughs> like just just because you take a nude, you send people selfies or, or you sex people or whatever, doesn't make you a freak. Just because you you take naked pictures and send them to random people doesn't make you a freak. Just because you show yourself off doesn't make you a freak. You can strip and all of that stuff doesn't make you a freak. I I, dis- I disagree with you. Okay. I think to people who don't do those things, they're a freak. You're a freak. Oh, okay. They're a freak in their community. 
<laughs> in their community. <laughs> now, when you step up to the big leagues, <laughs> come free. to the you're freaking basic. community. Yeah, you're yeah. basic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you vanilla. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? You run raisin without the raisins. Like, people, like I, think, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think when it comes to this, I think when it comes to this, like, people need to actually go to a major league game. Right before you, before you decide that you could or with think that you could, of... that, yeah, like you can't play with us. Like if, <laughs> like, and, and I'm, I'm sure we, diff, we different over here. I'm <laughs> sure that you've all had those conversations with people. You had somebody who thought they were this, and then you start talking, actually talking about what your experiences are, we're laying down some real experiences. They get quiet. Yeah, for sure. Like, like oh, for real. Really? That's the kind of like, freaky for, you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, like, like oh. wait a minute. Like I, I want like. <laughs> this is gonna be. We're gonna have a, have, have a topic on this too. Actually, it's in the next couple of weeks. Like sexual standards nowadays. I was ready for that one. We like that's gonna be a good one. And there's so many things that it's like. Oh, you think that's freaky? You think that's nasty? Like what? The, like oh, I can show you some shit. You know what I'm saying? But. It's it's fun it's fun to talk it's fun to, it's fun to, to to witness it I know a lot of people so like speaking about sapiosexuals I got one person in my mind right now who swears up and down that's what she is and I'm like that's really not what you are like you're really not like I know some of the people that you've fucked with I know some of the people that you've been in relationships with and they're not intelligent yeah yeah you know what I'm saying like <laughs> you're not you're that is absolutely not what you are you know what I'm saying like you're pretty regular, actually. You know what I'm saying? But you know, what's people, the last engineer like you slept with? Feel. What's the last, you know, yeah. mathematician you, you, you know blew saying? down? You know? <laughs> like <laughs> like your man works at the mall. Like, let's be honest. Like, and I have to say that people that work at the mall are not smart, but like, come on. You can't tell me that that's your attraction. Anyway, all right. I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. All right. Type of sexuality number 16. Right. I know nobody's ever heard of this one. Spectra sexual. Spectra? Spectra sexual. S P E C T R A sexual. Oh, was that they like the full spectrum? I don't know, you tell me. They like everything. <laughs> the whole spectrum. The whole spectrum. I'll take anything. <laughs> I'll take, Are you free? I'll take anything for $100. $100. <laughs> <laughs> free. From Jeopardy. That part. <laughs> free. People who are sexually or romantically attracted to multiple or varied sexes, genders, and gender identities. So, so basically. They're pan on steroids? That part. Yes. Because I did say the full spectrum, right? Yeah. Right, so I yep. was right, right? You, okay. were, you, yes. you were right about that. that Even though I was late, pan, I was ready. Pan, <laughs> pan on steroids. That would be a pansexual on steroids. All right. So, and then there was two more. We got to talk about those. The one. Oh, my. My hobosexual, which we all know have it, may have experienced one or a know hobosexual? someone. Hobosexual? Yes. Hobosexual. No. Somebody who only type of gave sexual, you for the type place. Of, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. Type of sexuality number 17. I'm ready. Hobosexual. Hobosexual. A person who only dates you for a place to live. I know a hundred of them. Damn. I, I, I feel like I, <laughs> I feel like I can't say anything because you there were some have... people who were really close to me who shared some things with me. <laughs> and I don't want to put nobody on blast. No, that's so real. I'm just that's real. I used to be a homosexual. I had to think about it too. I was like, I've been a homosexual at least twice in my life. I've never been a homosexual, but I know people who've had to do it. And I love y'all cuz y'all know I'm talking to y'all. <laughs> and so I will keep my I'll keep my feedback limited because not everybody's proud of what they had to do. It's more the women than the guys. Right. Guys, some of the guys don't give a fudge, you know, but the women, yeah, I'm a. So for me, so for me, it wasn't. All right, so in my own defense, it wasn't. I, I wasn't doing it solely for a place to live, but this person, or the at, at in those moments, the person that I was dealing with, that was part of what they could offer me. You know what I'm saying? Like they, 
had a place that I could stay. That made them a little bit more attractive. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Like, oh, okay, this situation, you know what I'm saying? This situation might work because I'm providing something that she wants or needs in the moment, and she's got what I need, too. I need a place to stay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need to not pay you know rent. Yeah, I need to not pay rent. I need a car to drive on a regular basis. You know what I'm saying? So I'll drop her but off at like work. That, it's, but it's not like that was the only thing. I was attracted to her. I was attracted to them as people too. But you know what I'm saying? It's just like a job. It's just like a, going going when you when you when you're applying for jobs, you're wearing your options. Like, okay, this job has a little bit more to offer than this job. They got the same pay, but then this job got benefits, weekends off, holidays off. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm going with that one. We're making the same money, but that one got a little bit more to offer. You know what I'm saying? So like, damn, this girl's she's straight, but this one. I could stay with her. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I've definitely been a homosexual at least twice in my life. Damn. Hold on. Well, I guess if Papa's a Rolling Stone, he could also be a homosexual, right? Exactly. Okay. Shit is real out here. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I actually had somebody staying with me. Matter of fact, I got to add that to the list right there. I got to put that <laughs> on paper to the list. Hobosexual. I had somebody staying with me once, and they were supposed to be splitting the rent with me, and they're like, all right, well, if I'm sleeping with you, I'm not splitting the rent. Yeah, I'm good now. I'm good. Nah, I ain't yeah, no I don't more. like you no more. Nah, yeah. it's all about the paper with me. It's money. I don't like you no more. Uh, this yeah. is 50-50. Or... Yeah, nah, I'm good. All right. Shock the shit out it's of her. It's crazy, right? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm money over. I know some homosexuals. I think that and men are more shocked when it is a woman, but I know women out there that do it. They like, do that are only yeah, in I relationships. I know both, yeah, both because, sexes. Yeah. yeah, men and women who have, who have done it and or continue to do it. Um, yeah, family members, you know, <laughs> hey, hey so, but you do what you got to do. Yeah. Right? And sometimes you sometimes. can't offer cash. You got to offer ass. <laughs> that part. And you better come correct you know and sweep up. All right. Last one. Type of sexuality oh. number 18. And this is only half. This is not even half the list. It's crazy. Soul sexual. Got this one earlier too. Never heard of this one until today. Soul sexual. What do you think that is? I only sleep with people who I am really connected with and touch my soul. My soulmate. There you go. Why is this guy so good at this? <laughs> <laughs> I've known you for. Like, did I've you make you? the list? Hey, like, I've, I've known, known you for five so minutes, and I, I can you're tell you're the one. You're the one for me. Yeah. Uh, but how do you? How do you? How do you? How do you? How do you know if someone's soul, if you're attracted, like if you're in, like their soul? Like how do you? That takes time, doesn't it? You think it should take time? It should take time. But why do people get married in Vegas in 24 hours? It 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 it, it, it should take time. Well, for the record, it was more than 24 hours. For the record, I wasn't you. calling. Okay. I wasn't calling you out. All right. I think it was at just least so three. just so y'all know three weeks. It was more than 24 hours. Wow. It was like 24. It was like 24 days. Wow. Thank you. Go ahead. 24 days. Wow. It was like 24 days. My brother doesn't like bugs. It was like 24 days. And I definitely thought that she was my soulmate. Actually, I knew she wasn't my soulmate, but I thought she could be my soulmate. Based on like it was like. Eight, if she it was like knew eight, she it was wasn't, like, but thought she could be. It was like eight. Out, it was like it, it, it was like a, if we performed the checklist. It was like if we performed the checklist. It was like eight out of ten things. Don't go. And ahead. like the two things that I didn't check was like okay, if we spend enough, ones? if we spend enough time, if we spend enough time together uh, around each other, then I'll be able to check those things. The off. problem was she had no soul, <laughs> 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 so she couldn't be your soulmate. That's a fact, though. Oh, like I. <laughs> That's a fact, though. All right, Ms. so he just done blown it down. I, nah, hey, listen, I don't know, no, but that's, that's real. I mean, that's a real nah, part of real. it. Like I've seen a meme that one of my favorite memes says, "What if you have no soul? What if the problem is you haven't found your soulmate because you have no soul?" And there are people that think they found their soulmate in somebody who just doesn't have a soul. No, nah, that's right. I, I, I want to say, this, honestly speaking, but for soul sexual, I don't know any men who who I could classify like that. But I, I have met women who thought they found their soulmate, thought they found their soulmate, thought they found their soulmate, 
and threw threw everything into them, and it won it fizzled out in a couple of days, it fizzled out in a couple of weeks. He was this, he was that, but I don't know any guys who've you know jumped around and say I've soulmate, soulmate, soulmate. Has anybody mm-hmm. else experienced any guy? Any guy? No, I agree. I yeah, feel like no, for I don't think so. Not like me. a lot of women, they think it, it, especially early on. But that's the difference between love and lust, and that people often make that confusion. And while they're in lust, they think they're in love, and that that's their soulmate. But when they actually get to know the person after an extended period of time, they're like, maybe you're not really the match that I thought you were. Right. And. That's part of the reason why you shouldn't rush into love blindly all the time. You should love people as hard as you can and right. as often as right. you can, but not so much think that they are your soulmate without knowing them. Yes. Do you have any more that you want me to guess before we wrap it up? So soul sexual is attracted to someone for their entire soul. I don't know if it's a real thing or if somebody made it up this morning, but it's on the list now. Oh, yeah. well, that mm. makes it official. All right. You know, biblically, you know, the devil could love you because he wants your soul. There you go. So I think if somebody walked up to me and told me that they're a soul sexual, like a stranger, like a person that I'm meeting on the first, mm-hmm. try if I'm like, all right, so what's your sexuality? And the person was like, I'm a soul sexual. That would make you pause. Yeah. Deuces. Deuces. For sure. I'm out. Don't want those problems. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, wait a minute. Like, we just met. Are you telling me you already searching for souls? Right. How could you be attracted? You wouldn't know who you were attracted to then. Out of here. But if I knew you already and we, we have a relationship, we establish a relationship over time and you're like, you know, I'm a soul sexual. Maybe. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, ah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can dig it. I know, I know your personality a little bit. I know what you're into. Da, da, da. But, like, if we met at the bar... And I'm like, what's your sexuality? And you're like, well, I'm bisexual, soul sexual. <laughs> but you know what? To be real, you know I'm, I'm not bi. <laughs> like, bi. He's like, what? If you're talking for, if somebody's saying, look, I only like to have sex or be romantically engaged with people I have a deep rooted connection with, I would love to be that person. I just, I just, I just think you'd be waiting around a long time if you're really, really looking. If yeah, you're it's really crazy. looking. Yeah, it's scary. So sexual. All right. So that's we have that's eighteen. Yeah. That's almost half of the list that's generated on what you love so much, Google or Webster's or whatever. It's a long list. So did you learn anything today? Absolutely. What Always. about you, Miss Sage? You learn anything today? Yes, sir. I learned a whole lot. I learned that I'm as smart as I think I am. You're a very intelligent young man. Thank you, sir. Danger, educated black man on the loose. I used to have that t-shirt, and you know it. I know. (laughs) I used to like that t-shirt, too. That was a good one. I wore it out. All right. So, based on today's conversation, information from today, does anyone's sexuality change? Does your classification change? Well, I think Do we you know what you are? We all can fall under multiple categories. That's very true. This is true. So that we're all fluid. Ooh. Ooh. Keep it simple. Yep. Keep it simple. I Everyone's fluid. I don't know. I want to go from hetero, hetero to uh, to demi and just stay a demi. <laughs> you want to stay a demi? I want to stay a demi. You don't think you could be more than one? I definitely could be more than one, but that's too fluid for me. So I'm gonna be demi. <laughs> okay. I think. I think I'm going into. Demi Gyna <laughs> <laughs> and Spectra and Soul. Damn. Yeah. That's, that's, so that's now too so, much. So now I'm um, so now <laughs> so, He's just so flowing. Now, no, this is, so, so now I'm um, I'm um, um, Demi Gyna Spectra Soul Fluid. Say a that real fast. Homosexual. Say that real fast. A reformed homosexual. <laughs> and, and a reformed homosexual. A recovering homosexual. That's kind of crazy. I want to meet someone who's a libidoist. A libidoist. I don't think they want to meet you, though. 
Right. They're busy right. with That's themselves. Right. With themselves. They love themselves too much. Now, That's personally, not gonna I get a chair and pull up world. and watch, but you know. All right. Well, that's interesting. That's interesting. No, I'm going to do some further research on these things, and we're going to have to revisit this conversation. We're going to have to come back for uh, part two because we got a whole lot more to dive into, and it might be some things that can help people and help ourselves move forward in this life. So, are y'all satisfied with today's conversation? Yes, yes sir. I've seen a lot of smiles. I appreciate that. People showed up. Everyone was in tuned. We're a pretty good team, right? We work well together. On yes, Saturdays. I agree. On Saturdays. Actually, you know. Miss, on Sundays, too. Miss Sundays. Sages. We work on Sundays? With the, no, we did. We did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, do she, she's a trooper when it comes to that road. She she's, don't play no games. Yes. Boy. She don't play no games. She, she at put all. the professional drivers down. <laughs> the two professional drivers. She right, <laughs> right. I got this. Place. I know. I snored the whole, oh, whole, whole way down. Whole way. Like she and was, then most of the way back. She was wide awake, boy. She didn't play no games. I'm grateful for her. All right. Well, I think that's it. I think we did everything we needed to do today. Then we came. We came. We saw. We caught. Well, we came. We saw. We're gonna change that. We came. We spoke, we conquered. We got to trademark that. I'm going to say it again. We came, we spoke, we conquered. Anybody who tries to steal that shit, we got it on documentation right now. It's the first time you ever heard that. You ain't never heard that before, have you? No, I can't say that. Never heard that shit in life before. Mm -hmm. We just said that. We did that. Kill Talk Radio. Live in the dream catcher. We came, we spoke, we conquered. That's us. We got to trademark that. We got to get that shit right because anybody who tries to take it, that's something that can live on for the rest of life. Put it on a t-shirt. I'll wear it next week. Uh, listen, don't play with me. It only take me five minutes to put something on a t-shirt. That's easy. Let's do it. All right. For the Deuce and Jamie Sage, I am Live the Dream Catcher. We are Kill Talk Radio, Sex, Love, and Hip Hop, The Conversation. Thank y'all for watching, tuning in. Next week, we got Double Standards. Ooh, we got some special guests coming. The conversation is going to be good. It's going to look good. The lights are going to be nice and warm. Everyone get your makeup and your hair ready because I think we got some divas that are going to sit on the couch and they might have some things to say. Oh, yes, that's right. I forgot who's coming. Yeah. All right. All right. So until next week, we thank y'all. Stay tuned. Peace. Peace.